Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Perky Amigos. So today I have brought a very brand new topic and I think that's very essential for the students who are moving to United States from abroad. Expenses, money. Everyone wants to know that how much we are going to spend, what are going to be our expenses, so how we are going to divide our money in USA while you are studying. So without wasting any time, okay, let's dig in. student comes and studies in United States. So the ones which are in blue are the ones which you can't avoid at all. They are the most essential for different sections where your money is going to be drowned. And then comes the five, six, seven, eight, the least important ones, but I will say they are also essential, but they are not as essential as the upper four ones. So we'll go to them one by one. So while I'm coming to the first one is the most priorities is the tuition fees. As we all know that if you are going for a PhD study in United States, then you are not going to cover your tuition fees because you will be waived up from your tuition fees that comes in a package of your stipend. And also if you're in a graduate assistance, then voila, you are getting a stipend too. So basically this thing is only for, uh, is or I can say is not for the PhD students because this will be taken care of by your university and your department. So now coming to my second point is residence fees and electricity bills. The place where you are going to stay in United States. Yeah! You are not going to stay somewhere else or the roads or the streets I mean. Yeah. So the residence fees and the electricity bills that is very essential because if you are staying in on campus, if you are staying in off campus that depends, that varies a lot, a lot, a lot. Yes. So if you're staying on campus, that is more costlier. That happens for almost all the parts of the United States. But if you're staying off campus, that is very much cheaper, economical, and you can manage your expenses. And if you're thinking about safety thing, guys, you need to do some research before coming here that where is the place, which state you're moving in, which city you're moving in, and how far is the off campus from your university campus so that you can work freely and also the money matters because residence fees is something that is not going to be webbed up that is something that you are going to pay from your own pocket from the stipend that you are getting in PST. and electricity bills is like you need to be very careful here in united states that whether you are putting your electricity more on heater more or on like auto more like different thermal modes are there and according to that the bill comes every month slap on your face <laughs> so it is like the electricity bills are also being going to be taken care of by you from your money your stipend your salary yours basically everything yeah so the third important point is food water and grocery you're going to eat something in united states aren't you Yay! yes so the food water and grocery is something that you are going to pay I do it like a weekly shopping kind of thing. Like I buy something, I go to the Walmarts, there are Myers, there are Aldi, there are lots of options over here. But I think Walmart and Aldi are good. Myers is good too. I'm not even judgmental on this. So you can buy your food from there. Water is also very much of a concern over the United States because most of the places in the United States they have very bad water quality, or I may say that they are not very optimal for human consumption so for drinking water you need to buy water if you're staying off campus if it off campus doesn't have good water sources so in my campus over here we have reverse osmosis water so RO water is very much good for drinking so I don't need to buy water but I know the places where the people are staying off campus and they need to buy water or maybe they need to buy some filter I think that will be a good investment 
yeah and grocery yes you can find vegetables you can find meat you can find poultry you can find fish items you can find find i mean seafoods and of course indian foods are available in almost each of the states in united states in my city over here also i have like a couple of places where i can find very good indian foods even some are in the campus itself so indian food won't be a trouble for you so but i think you should put a habit of adapting yourself to how to sustain on american foods because you're going to live for a long time in phd yes then next important thing is mobile bills i was slapped with a 500 bill dollar for a month for my mobile bills so i don't think any one of you are ready for that even i was not ready for it oh my god yeah so mobile bills are very important make sure that you take a connection from here with a server that is very compatible to your area where your university is or your residence is both so that you can get well connection to wherever you're talking basically the plans over here are like almost free for entire united states they don't charge you for calling in the united states but if you call to your home country it, it is chargeable so make sure that you choose your plans accordingly there are family plans like your group of friends you can together take a postpaid connection on a family plan together so that you can split your bills split your bills all of us remember to split your bills when you're in the united states when you're going out with your friends you need very much so there are different servers like um, at&t is there verizon is there sprint is there t-mobile is there so now come now as i've covered the most important ones now we're going to the least important ones they are important but they are not so important okay so now coming to the first and least important one is the books and stationery basically you have in your university campus you have a large library i have a couple of libraries actually so i think they have a couple of libraries in your university campus that has almost all the books that you require for your during these studies or not there are also offline options for pdfs where you can download your book in free without any cost and you can study from there or if not or you are in a habit of you can't read without any book and your book is not available in library for taking you home or you are having any sort of difficulty that you want that book with you then you need to buy it so basically you need to buy it from amazon or something i think amazon is a good option winter clothes but actually what i wanted to say is weather appropriate clothing i don't carry much winter clothes from india the but the winter clothes that you use in india will be fine for the fall season over here but as soon as the winter hits here and if you're if you're staying in any northern part of america then you need to buy the winter clothes that are compatible for this weather because the winter clothes that you buy from india will not be appropriate for the winter here in america so you need to have some money but this is a one-time investment so never mind you if you are buying some winter clothes it will last you for a couple of years i do indulge in buying more and more the more i go to the store I but try to control your greediness yeah okay so coming to the next topic is the electronic gadgets yes suppose your phone is not working you need to buy a new phone and the other thing that you need is a hair dryer and for boys they need a trimmer and all those things don't buy it from india because if you're going to buy from india you need an adapter that is going to convert because in india and here the voltage is different and the final thing is entertainment 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 or get a I know. So you need to have something saved from your salary for your entertainment expenses. Maybe you want to go for a movie. Maybe you want to hang out with your friends. So yeah, you need to have some expenses from your salary for your entertainment. So if I um actually if I calculate the whole through it, so I would say the whole expenses any state will come roughly around ten k, ten thousand to maybe. Well, thousand. That is the expenses. I'm not saying about the savings. It is only the expenses. If your salary is more than that, or if you're living in a very costly city, that may hamper the thing a bit. But I think it should not cross ten thousand to twelve thousand k expenses in any city of United States. So, 
yeah the basic thing is if your tuition fees is getting covered up so you are taking care of that and the rest of the thing you can manage trust me the couple of months maybe one month or two months in the initial days will be a hard for you but after that it is very smooth like and if i divide the expenses for a very quick recap and how much we are going to pay for each of them then i think nutrition fee is something that i'm not calculating it's way up residence fee and electricity bills should not exceed something more than there are people who can stay with like uh, depends on which bedroom you are staying but still i can say it won't be much than 300 to maybe 700 dollars okay now food water and grocery food i think if you are buying something weekly for maybe 50 dollar it is enough for a week trust me so mostly i can say food water and grocery um maybe around 200 dollar per month is is almost fine in 200 so mobile bills i think it is almost it takes me almost right now something around 30 to maybe 40 dollars per month and everything i'm saying is per month okay so book and stationery there's an option and there's an so much required i think that we can put like this stationery thing or book thing maybe some 50 to 100 dollars it is not month it is just one time investment one time yeah and winter clothes it's also one time investment or maybe a yearly investment so it is around 200 dollars is fine and then electronic gadget it depends on what kind of gadget that you want to buy if i buy a ps4 otherwise it may be around it depends in paris it may be something around it can start from 10 dollars to maybe go up to 200 dollars it depends upon your preferences what you want to buy and entertainment expenses if you keep aside or most around 70 or 100 dollar per month for your expenses then you are going to enjoy your life in america like wow yes so i think we are covered so if you have any question if you have any suggestion please drop down your comments in the comment section below i would love to answer them and i love to read your suggestions and for more videos such more such videos about the pc life in america of an international student keep watching to our videos we park here and we are with us for life god bless you and love you all